Let's I'm get her done. I'm sleeping in the Come room. Come on. Stay in there. Let me shut the door. Stay right in there. Get your mask on, bud. I'm coming around the other side. Get your mask on. Wait. Put it on. P, I need help first. Hold on. I need help getting it on. Especially when you're using an HVLP gun because it actually puts a lot more flow out, okay? So we're gonna let that dry for about 10 or 12 minutes. We're gonna come back, put two more coats on the same exact way, and then I'll show you how to blend it. And I'm gonna explain to you what blending To the old paint with the reducer and that's how you blend okay that's how you blend uh, base cut I mean single stage urethane. Take my paint I dump it out yes Trevor, I'm hungry too we're almost done I take my reducer I go ahead and pour the reducer in the paint can in the paint gun I go ahead and Put the lid on it, shake it up so the paint mixes. And when I see the paint come out, when it's wet, I know that it's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray all the way around everywhere that I spray. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna blend the paint in. painted blue okay it was right down in there and also we went ahead and took our uh, reducer if Trevor can open that up instead of playing with it open the top up easily so it doesn't splash hold it level now there you go take it off take it off one more time okay and I left the residue of the paint in there so I still had some uh, blue paint mixed in with the residue with the fucking 
You get the idea. Put the lid back on it, Trevor. Tight. Okay. And what I did is I went ahead and I went ahead and sprayed the whole area, okay, that I blended into. Now once that dries, that will all blend itself in and you won't even know that it's painted. So, there you go. That's how you blend single stage urethane or acrylic enamel or any type of single stage paint that you might need to blend into to fix a panel with. Now, uh, if you're going to paint like a quarter panel, you want to blend into a sail panel. If you're going to paint uh, the roof, you want to blend it into the roof panel. See? Into the uh, whatever here. Okay? But if I was going to paint this quarter panel, I'd go ahead and paint the whole quarter panel and then I'd blend my paint up into the sail panel here. Okay? Up into this area. And then I would bleed it, okay, in this area here and I'd go up with it and then let it smoke. Then I would come back and I'd color sand and buff that and you would never even be able to tell that it would blend it. Okay, you ready to go eat lunch? You sure? Okay. Take the spray gun over to the spray table. I'm right behind you, bud. What? Take it off. Okay. Get your glasses. Those are my glasses. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. That's all right. Take it off. There. Let it hang down. I like a painter sometimes. Okay. What are you thinking, bud? What's up? I like a painter sometimes. I know. That's how painters look. Okay, you ready to go to lunch? Let's get that gun clean so we can get out of here, dude. Watch the heat or don't hit it with your leg. All right. You don't worry about where we're eating. I'm paying. And the person that pays gets to pick where we're eating, sir. Am I right or wrong? What's your wife, what's your, what's your, what's your paying? What's your, what's your wife says you want to go somewhere else? Wife? No, my man, what did you say somewhere else? Well, I tell her, okay, uh, sweetie pie, uh, cheeky baby, whatever, go somewhere else, whatever. wherever you want, because I love you. Yeah, Okay, whatever. but see, you're a swamper. I, I know, I no, know. No, you're a swamper, Trevor. What do, okay. they what do they have there? They have uh, tortas. They have tacos. Okay, they have Mexican have you been there food. Have you been there before? Yeah, don't. Hang on. Just hold on to that, bud. see the situation we got here okay let me get out of here so I can go to fucking lunch all right I got to fucking go see you later bye bye where are you at what are you doing over there? Did I ask you to leave them guys alone? How many times have I asked you? How many times have I asked you to leave them alone? How many times? I think once or twice. More than once or twice? I think. I think I've told you about 79 oh, times. You did? No. I think you only told me twice. No. I leave just... Phil and Chad alone. Are you watching? Okay, let's go see what they're doing over here. Okay, this is an update on the situation we have. If you notice, we got the engine hoist out. So that means that uh, our friend, your friend, everybody's pal Phil. Let me get some light on the subject here. Looks like they got the motor back in the car. Wow. That was a horrendous job, wasn't it, Chad? Yes, it fucking sucks. What happened, dude? What the situation, Chad? What happened? Hold on, I got a problem down here. What's up, Phil? What happened? You drill the hole in the transmission case to stop the crash. What are you gonna do? Well it up? No, it's just stop the crash. What happened? Remember when the transmission fell out of the truck? Oh, when the tranny fell out of the truck? Got a little hairline crack in it, so it's drilling a hole to where that crack won't continue but to spread. Gonna, it hurt nothing. Nah, it's just the case. Oh, okay. That's when y'all were in a hurry when you pulled the motor out of the car. Yeah. So did we did we get the motor rebuilt, Chad? Yep, we had to sleeve it. Put a sleeve in it? Mm-hmm. We gonna run this time? Yeah, it ran last time. It just had water. Everything that you've done on this car has been twice. Or three. Everything that I've done on it has been pretty much twice. What's Phil doing down there? How are we looking, Phil? I don't know yet. When are you going to be able to start this thing, bud? I don't know. Probably not today. Are we going to drive it around the block when you start it? No. Will it ever drive around the block? Probably not. 
Will it ever drive around the block? Probably not. Will it ever drive around the block? Probably not. Well, I'm just checking my legs. At least he's honest, right? The, yeah. Okay, it's looking good, but it looks brand new again. We'll be back with you, okay? Hey, Trevor! Okay, huh? Trevor, okay. get over here. Move it. Are you guys gonna put that motor thing away or are gonna do it later? We'll, we'll, we'll put it up later or we'll, okay. we'll put it back Maybe in Maybe we better leave it out in case the motor locks up again. Yeah, we'll do that. You think we ought to do that? I think so. What is your dog's name, Phil? So you see it's a busy day over here at my friend Pete, your friend Pete's. We got the hobby shop on one end of the shop and we're actually trying to make money on the other end. We got a hobby shop and a Pete's shop. The hobby shop is on the other side of the wall there, bud. This is the mechanic shop, this is the body shop. This is the body shop, that's the mechanic shop. <laughs> yeah. Because they're going to do more than I cry working. All I want to do is get some money so I can get the hell out of here. Like right now? Do okay. something with my life besides go crazy with Trevor around. Did you just spit? No. You no, listen, listen. Pick the razor blade up. Pick it up. See, this water is Get the razor blade. Throw it in the trash before little kids are cut their hands. Go. No, I'm just kidding. All right. I can play basketball. They just want to play. Wow, that was really uh, out of the ordinary to say something like that. Why would you say that? They just want to play because I can't. I can't. Okay. Can we do basketball, Charles? Today? Goodbye. Pray for me, please. When you go to bed at night, pray for my friend Pete. Pete. What, Trevor? Are we gonna stay here late tonight? Maybe. Yay! Do I need to call your dad? No. Okay. I like to stay here. I'm All right. I mean, to go get him. I gotta go.